when I uh, <clears throat> when I first wanted to do this 15 minute video topic I was extremely angry I was extremely upset when I first what stopped me from making the video I caught a cold back to back I caught a cold and I thought I was well and I caught another cold right back to back and so there were a series of topics that I wanted to talk about I couldn't do because I felt bad I, I was I was sick and one of the things that I wanted to talk about and I was angry when I first thought about it very very upset very very angry and that is this spiritual stuff what I find among melanated people what I find among uh, African people and even Native American people dark skinned people around the earth what you find so damn spooky now I understand why ancient people were spooky they lack they lack knowledge they lack technology they lack science so the things that they did not understand they made up answers they fabricated fairy tales and they passed these fairy tales and these beliefs down to the generations as though it was factual as though it was some kind of reality and it was not there's a tribe I saw on Discovery Channel or maybe I was reading a, reading it in a book I forgot exactly I don't remember but it's this tribe they look like some type of African tribe and they worship the crocodile or the alligator as a god even to the point where the men in the tribe they scar their backs they take little knives or whatever and they cut into their backs and they cause all these scars to make their back make their skin look like the skin of a crocodile that is crazy as hell. And they do all kinds of crazy, wacky stuff in the belief that they're going to get some kind of special power from the sun or from an alligator or whatever. But these are ancient people. These are primitive people how can you live in 2022 and you're just as spooky and wacky as they are? You should know better. This is what we have to understand about the brain. We come into the world knowing nothing. I'm going to say that again. We come into the world knowing nothing. Somebody, because it's not natural, somebody taught you about the spiritual world. 
the concept, the idea of spirits and goblins and ghosts and gremlins and demons. That's a learned behavior that somebody taught you. And you might put your own spin on it. You might change it up. It's a lie. And your brain will tell you something here is wrong. It's, I'm not connecting. Because your brain can only connect to the physical world, the reality that we know. Not to a world that we believe. So we are, as children, we are taught about Santa Claus. And as children, we can believe in that. We can embrace that. But as we grow older, and you don't have to be told. As you mature, as you grow older, your brain, you recognize as you grow and mature, you begin to recognize and understand that Santa Claus is not real. However, if you force your brain to accept Santa Claus as a reality, whether you are a child or whether you are an adult, your brain will accept this fictional character that does not exist as a reality and your brain will give you images and you will interact only in your mind. Nobody else can see it. Nobody else can see it, only in your mind. Your brain will, make, will create images and have you actually react with the Santa Claus. And this is what we say. This is what we see. It's not that your experience is not real. It is real. Only real to you because you have forced your brain to accept fantasy and fiction as a reality. That's the, that's the reason why only you can experience it. Because your brain made it for you because you want, that's what you want. If you don't want to grow up and see, for, for many of us, we want something for nothing. We want the easy way out. We want to make a better world. We don't have to do it. I'll just die. And the spirits and the spooks in the spiritual world, ghosts and goblins, some god spaceship going to come out the sky. They are handled. And that's what it's all about. Making it easy on yourself so you don't have to take responsibility for being alive. You don't have to take responsibility for nothing. All you have to do is just sit back in the cut and believe in spirits and spooks and dinosaurs or whatever the hell it is going to come save you. Right now, there's a skirmish there's a problem going on with Russia Ukraine and the United States or NATO however you want to say it which could cause or it could be the beginning of World War 3 it's a possibility it doesn't take a whole lot. Something small can lead to something big. If you live in Ukraine where all this kicks off, those people living in Ukraine and the bombs get to dropping and the bullets get to flowing back and forth, there's no spirits, there's no spooks. Nothing from the spiritual realm is going to do nothing. 
the continent of Africa, all your gods and spirits and demons and your black magic, your voodoo, all that stuff. When bombs get to dropping, guns get to firing, bombs get to blowing up. How come? Where's this God at? Where's the where's these spirits and ghosts and goblins? Where's all this stuff at? Where's this power of God at? Where was the power of God when Truman said drop the bombs on those Japanese cities towards the end of World War II? Where was your Japanese God at and your, the spirit of your ancestors and all this stuff that we believe in? See, that's what, that's what pisses me off. I mean no disrespect. I get tired of hearing about spirits in the spiritual realm and gods and ghosts and goblins and demons. Where was God and the spirits when my ancestors was out on the street? Women and children bit by dogs, sprayed with fire hoses. Where was these spirits in the spiritual realm and all this power in God when my ancestors was on a plantation picking cotton and being mistreated from sun up to sun down? I'm, I can't do that. If you don't change your condition, if you don't do nothing about yourself, Nothing's going to happen. The condition that we find ourselves in is man-made. It was not made, it was not caused by a spirit or a spook. It was caused by other men. So if men created the problem, men can solve the problem. There's no need to look for UFOs and spirits and demons and gods and you know these invisible gods, whatever. It's up to you. When you decide, I've stood all I can stand, I can't stand no more, it will change. But as long as you think, if you're looking for the easy way out, nothing's going to change. To my knowledge, no God, no spirit, no spooks have ever done nothing to help nobody do anything. You had to use a gun. You had to use a knife in order to change your condition. You had to fight. Somebody had to sacrifice. Somebody had to die. And I can't do it. The belief in spirituality and the spirit world that's the that's what happens to people who are abused and exploited a lot of times they make up a fantasy world to live in and that's what we have done as a people made up fantasy world spiritual world to live in Exploited children do it all the time. They make up a world to try to escape the reality of being abused and exploited and hurt. And that's what we have done. I don't have to worry about it too long. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to die and everything going to be better. Slave teaching. Teachings delusions from those who suffer from abuse. So don't get angry at me. 